Hey guys, welcome. This is our Simpling Radicals homework um, for you guys. I'm going to go over these, so follow along and pause the video if you need help. And take a break, and then kind of come back, refresh your, your brain. But we should try these first, and then get help with me, okay? So let's go ahead and start out. We're, we're starting out with uh, square and cube roots. And uh, this right here, 144, is actually a perfect square. So sometimes the first thing we should do is actually just try and plug into our calculator and to see if it is a perfect square. And 12 is a perfect square. And we get our answer right there. Uh, 289 is a perfect square of 17. Which just means 17 times 17 is 289. And this is 5. And uh, the calculators in my class will also do what's called cube roots. So square root is we're looking for two equal factors. And cube roots, we're looking for three equal factors. Okay, and so you can actually do cube roots uh, if you use this button right here where it has a little X in the index. And you can just hit three first. And then you're going to hit second this button. Sorry, first. Sorry about the interruption. Um, anyway, so we got three, and then we can hit that little um, second button, and then we hit right there, that button. Okay, let's just do cube roots. So we can type in 27, hit enter, and we're going to get three. Yeah, that just means 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. We could do that with 216. Oops. 216. Hit enter, and that's also a perfect cube root. And we can actually use it with negatives, too, since a negative times a negative times a negative actually ends up being a positive. So we could actually use negative 10 as our answer. Okay, so these are all perfect ones where we don't have to actually do any reducing. We can use our calculator. Let's go ahead and go down to our first row, and we're going to do a little zoomy zoom zoom and a zoom zoom dooby doom doom. And we're going to break these guys down. So first of all, we got uh, 112, and we're going to break that down by 2. And because I don't know any other numbers that go into it, 2 and 56. And this is going to break down into, I don't know, maybe, what what breaks that down? Uh, 56. I don't, I don't want to break it down by 2. Let's try other numbers. 8 and 7. I think that will work. Okay, 8 and 7. Now, this might not have been the fastest way. And we got 2 and 4. Now, do you see how we already have a set of 2 right there? Boom. That gets to come out automatically. And 4 is a perfect square. So since it's a perfect square, I know it's just going to be 2 and 2, which will also come out. And I'm left over with a 7 that gets stuck in jail. 2 times 2, that becomes 4 rad 7. Okay? Next, we're going to do 128. We did this one in class, so I'm going to go a little bit faster. This was in our notes. But 64 divided by 2... And then this is 8 times 8. And since we have common, uh, the same numbers, those get to break out of jail. And we're left over with the 2 staying in jail. All right, 384. So the square root of 384, uh, we're going to go ahead and try and break that down as well. So 384 um, <clears throat> might be a difficult one to do. Um, but you can break it and divide it by 2, I guess. That would work. So let's try that. I don't know any other numbers that go into it easily. And I guess divide that by 2 and see what we got. Ooh, divide that by 2 and see what we get. And I'm going to divide it by 2 one more time and then see if I can do anything else. All right, divide by 2, we got 24. Okay. So I already know I'm going to set two twos out, so I get two times two. And then we still got to break 24 down. 
And I'm going to do 4 and 6. And 6 won't break down to anything special, but 4 is a perfect square, which means I get to pull out an additional 2, and I'm left with the 6 behind. Okay? So I'm going to use a yellow highlighter if I ever circle a perfect square. Or sorry, pink highlighter. If I ever score, per, score, uh, circle a perfect square, I know I'm just taking out that number, just to save me a little bit of time. Okay? Otherwise, I'll make sure I circle 2. The 6 won't break down anything. This becomes 8 rad 6. All right, square root of 54. Okay? Um, I know 9 goes into that, so you want to try numbers besides 2. So I know 9 and 6 go into this. And uh, again, 9 is a perfect square. I already know that. It's 3 times 3, which means a 3 will pop out. And 6 won't break down, so we'll just leave it as 3 rad 6. Again, I didn't show that it broke 6 down because I know it's just 2 times 3, and that's not going to turn into anything useful. 12 is going to be 4 times 3, and again, I know 4 is a perfect square. So I'll take 4, the square root of it, which is 2, and I'm left over with a 3. And again, that 2 came from the square root 4. 80. All right, the square root of 80. Okay, uh, let's think. Any perfect squares? I don't know of any, but I do know that 8 and 10 will break it down. Those are decently good numbers, I suppose. And then, let's see here. This is going to be 2 and 5, and this is going to be 2 and 4. Well, I already see a group of 2, so that's coming out. And then 4 is a perfect square. So that means another 2 will come out from that perfect square. And then all I'm left over with is a 5. And so we're going to do 2 times 2, which is 4 rad 5. Okay. All right. Now we're doing cube roots. So we're going to do the cube root of 56. So this one's going to be a little bit trickier. And we want to break this guy down. Um, so 56, let's go ahead. We had this one earlier. No, we didn't. We had 54. Similar, but not the same. Uh, so 56 divided by 2. Um, or is there any other numbers that go to 56? Um, yeah, what was it? Was it? It was 8. Yeah. Okay, we had it earlier. That's right. Let's do 8 and 7. Okay. Uh, 8 breaks down to 4 and 2. Now, 4 is a perfect square, but we're looking for cubes. So 4 is not going to actually work. We're going to break it down to 2 and 2. 1, 2, 2. You see how we have three 2s? So we get to pull a 2 out, and the 7 gets left behind. And we have to put in our index of 3 right there. All right? All right. Next, we got 192. We're finding your value. And we're going to break that down. 192, I don't know any numbers that go into that. I'm going to try 8 in my calculator. And guess what? I got lucky because 24 popped out. Okay, that was really lucky. Um, so let's see if we can break this down. Now, we just saw that 8 broke it down into 222. Two, two. So I'm basically just going to go ahead and do that again. And we know we're going to pull a 2 out. 24 breaks down into 4 and 6, which breaks down to 2, 2, 2, and 3. So we get another 2 to pop out. And then we're left with a 3 inside of the radical. And so we get 4 cube root 3. Okay. So sometimes, again, I just tried numbers. Now, I kind of know 8's breaking down into something, too, and that will work. So that's why I'm kind of trying 8 to see if it will work. All right, here we go. Here's a tough one. 250. Well, I know 25 and 10 are going to work. And the reason why I'm excited about that is because I know that this is 5 and 5, and this is 5 and 2, which gives me three fives. So I'm going to pull a 5 out, and I'm left with a 2 on the inside. Okay? But now this whole thing is negative because it's a negative 5 that we're taking out. Okay? 
the negative will come out of this. All right, let's move on to our next problem. And that is down here. Now we're getting into variables. And variables are kind of fun because we can deal with uh, some interesting scenarios. So we have k squared. Well, that breaks down to k and k. So we get to pull a k out and we're done. Over here, we can look at these separately. 4 squared is 2 and 2. So the 2 comes out and a squared is a and a. So we get to pull an a out. So it's 2a. 32. Um, I'm pretty sure 16 goes into 32, which is convenient because that would be a perfect square. I was supposed to do that in pink. So 16 is a perfect square, which means a 4 will pop out. Okay, And x squared times x would make x to the third. Um, and x times x makes x squared. So we have a set of x come out. And I have a 2 and an x left over that stays behind. So again, I got the 4 because the square root of 16 is 4. Uh, x to the third, I could rewrite as x squared plus x to the first power, which I could write x squared as x times x. And I have two x's, so I get to pull one out. And I have one x left over. The way I like to do is to basically take the index number, divide. And so 2 goes into 3 one time. That's why I get to take one out. And I have one left over. Let's continue this down over here. We have the square root of 84. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try 4. I'm pretty sure 4 goes into this. I'm going to try my calculator. It does. We get 4 and 21. 21 is a prime number, so it's not going anywhere. But 4 is a perfect square, which means I'm going to be able to pull 2 out. But W is all alone. I can't pull anything out, so W is going to get the L. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, w is going to stay behind, um, and so does the 21. So we're going to get 21 W. Okay. So that W is underneath the square root there. Sorry if that was kind of confusing to see. Uh, we did that one in class, um, so if you weren't there, bummer. Moving on. Making life fast here. This is going to be, I, I always think of quarters, that's 25 and 3. And last time I checked, 25 is a perfect square, 5 times 5. So we get to pull a 5 out. That's cool. And then, remember, the, the index is 2. 2 goes into 5 twice, so I get to take 2 out. But 1 is left over, so I'm going to be left over with a 3 in there and 1p. And then 2 goes into 2 once, so I get to take 1q out. And there's the answer. 40. Uh, last time I checked, 4 and 10 would work. And 4 is a perfect square. Notice how I'm always trying to write it with a perfect square. And the square root of 4 is 2. So I'm going to take the square root, and 10 is going to be stuck in there. It's not going nowhere. Uh, Again, the index number is 2. 2 goes into 4 twice, so I get to pull 2m's out with nothing left over. And 2 goes into 3 one time, so I get to pull 1 out, and I have a remainder of 1, and that remainder stays on the inside. All right. 24 is going to be 4 and 6. Again, 4 is a perfect square. So I get to pull that 2 out. And we're going to keep the 6 under wraps. A, we can't take anything out there, not big enough. But B, we can take 1B out. 2 goes into 3 one time with a remainder of 1. And last but not least, 150. Uh, I believe we could do, how many quarters is that? 25 times 6, I believe that is correct. Um, and then 25 is a perfect square, so we're going to get a 5 out of that, 25. And then we're going to be left with 
I think, a 6 behind. And then a squared, 2 goes into 2 once, so I get 1a out. 2 goes into 2 once, I get a b out. 2 doesn't fit into c, so I'm left with a c as my final answer. All right, guys, that's it. That was the worksheet in a nutshell. Boom, 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 boom. And boom, there it is, okay? So double thumbs up. I hope you guys did good. Cha-cha. And we'll see you on the flip.